You wanna be on top? You wanna be on bottom? You wanna be on top? You wanna be on bottom? You wanna be on top? Top top. You wanna you wanna you wanna you wanna be on top? <laughs> you wanna be untouchable and on top? Or not? Cause that's what Tyra's trying to find out if you wanna be on top. And listen, I know I do. Do you? Hello there, beautiful. How are you today? I missed your beautiful face. You, oh my God, you look so beautiful and I'm so happy that you're here. And I am just ready to hang out with you and watch some America's Next Top Model because I have not seen this in a minute. Not since my last America's Next Top Model video, which was a while ago. It was months and months and months ago. I don't know when it was, but whenever I meet you guys on the streets or anywhere in public or whatever, most of the time you guys say, oh my God, I found your channel from America's Next Top Model. Like that's why I love your videos. It's always about America's Next Top Model, which I just find so funny. I don't know, because of all the videos, it's like, why that? But I mean, everybody loves America's Next Top Model, right? Like everybody grew up on that shit. Those makeover episodes were so amazing. And so I decided, Finally, I'd bring it back to my channel. I would do another episode of America's Next Top Model makeovers and watch it with you guys, give you my opinion on all the makeovers that happened in this season, which is season 18. So let's watch the video, America's Next Top Model season 18 makeovers. Let's do it. Fun. But after a the cool drama. photo shoot, Brit model Jess Maya became the first casual. Tonight, the battle escalates. All right, back off. No. Tyra. For nobody. I'm scared. <laughs> Yo. For her does not look good. <laughs> Tyra Mail. I'm extremely happy that I have this photo. Yes. My dream is to have Tyra hand me a photo of myself and say, congratulations, you are. And I go, Tyra, thank you. And I know I am America's Next Top Model and I've been waiting for you to tell me that my whole life. <sighs> thank you, Tyra. I love you. If drama's brought to me and it needs to be dealt with, like I'll deal with it. We did work, we did work. Same. That is my 2019 goal. If drama is brought to me, I will deal with it. This is Tyra. Tyra Banks' cell phone has been hacked, and confidential emails are flooding the web. The juiciest email recovered is about the makeover. <laughs> the makeover! Tyra's shaking things up this cycle. This is so dramatic. I love it. There was some half-shaved heads on there, pink hair. There was everything. Wait. What we were having. This is a fun makeover episode. Red, white, and blue hair, shave design, extra long weave, milk chocolate weave, ombre, strawberry blonde. Oh, yes. This is what I wanted today. This is what I needed in my life. It's scary and it's quite traumatic. I don't want it to all cut off. Why would I go out and have a boy haircut? Not me. I like how she's saying that and she already got her hair done. She's wearing like a turban and like she already got her hair cut. You can't fake me out. Uh-huh. Mm -mm. No, I already know you got your hair cut. Chop it off. Okay, wait, Tyra looks really, really hot here. <laughs> I love this. It's makeover day. We have makeup and Sally Hirschberger. Sally Hirschberger is like a huge thing. She won't give a haircut for anything less than $850. Nope. $850 to chop someone's hair off. Hey. Are you guys ready for your shakeovers? Yeah. Yes, Sally Hirschberger, Damn. where are you? I'm here. Yeah. I'm so excited because we're going to go beyond what you've ever done. Oh, I would love to have all these pretty girls be like, yeah, do whatever you want to my hair. Oh, wait, that is my life. <laughs> Ah, oh my god, yes. I see color, I see cutting. Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. She's getting the ombre? Red, white, and blue hair. That is gonna be very interesting to see what that looks like. Also very tacky. 
but whatever. I'm not afraid of tackiness. I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but I'm a little tacky and I like it like that. Okay, yeah! Blonde? Oh, he's gonna shave something in her hair. I have always wanted to do that. Have a shaved head and have stuff carved into it. That's the only thing I've never done with my hair and I need to do it. And I will do it, but I don't know when. I was the one who had the easiest style to do, so I decided to put myself on hair washing duty. Okay. Like, I was kind of instant crushed by Esmeralda. All right, yeah, she's hot. ready? We're gonna shorten your hair, but give it like a more contemporary look. I don't want it cut and I don't want it dark brown. Chop it the f off. She needs to get in a reality check, so we gotta do it. I've worked with the best models in the world and always have. They never like Me. This is gonna happen. You need to shut up. You need to stop talking. She didn't even give me time to think about if I went She needs those ends cut off, baby. I could say anything. She'd already locked off the back. I think it's just hair. Hair grows back. Easy for you to say you're getting a weave. Bad enough, then you'll just shut up and take what you get. They gave me like this light brown weave. That was so boring. Great. Give the girl a weave. Brown weave. Girl, she could have pulled out something more than that. I don't know. Like, come on. That was a little bit harsh. I think they gave the dark skin girls, like, always the boring makeovers. I'm like, what is that? No. Androgynous girls are so sexy. I can't yeah, help she is pretty f hey, You know what I would love to see with this look? Like, this is dope. Like, I'm so happy they let her hair go wild and, like, add in more tracks in. But I would also love to see her with, like, some oh, heavy, heavy fringe. Like, all curly. I have a thing for, like, natural curly hair and bangs. That would have been such a look with her. Annalise, get a bang. Magenta all over. I'm next to Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> To me, she looked more of like a model before, and now she looks like just a girl who colored her hair at home and is trying to be a model. Oops, is that a little bit mean? I'm sorry. Forgive me or don't. I don't know what just happened. Mm, I don't know, I kind of like what was going on with her hair before. It was kind of boring, but like it, it kind of gave her like a model look. Models aren't supposed to have fire engine red hair. That is not a model color. Mm. People want blank canvases when they hire you, so that way they can dress you up, color your hair on set, and give you a whole new look on set for that day of the shoot, not have you come in with a whole look, because then people can't visualize. Think blank canvas. Exactly Dude, she is so pretty. I believe I still Damn. I think I'm straight <gasps> all of a sudden. No, probably not. No. I love that. Oh, I actually like that. I've actually always been a fan of like the shave side thing. I think that's just like my emo childhood coming back and being like, yes. I really like this hair actually. Oh, we're not going to talk about this one, are we? We're just going to show the before and after right away. What the f is that? Mm -mm. That was not it. Ashley, babe, they gave her like these chunky, ugly highlights and this haircut that's just not really working for her. Also, I think this was very, I think this was from like 2010 or something. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of like, mm, it looked good back then, but not now kind of thing. But no, this can be a no for me, Ashley. Like Kylie? This also ain't it. I think she looked better before. What is this heavy, heavy bang going on? It completely blocks her face. She had this beautiful doll face before, and now she has like this heavy ass bang on her head and it just is not cute. I also think the dark hair made her look a lot more like exotic, and now I feel like she has this honey blonde that looks very wiggy. That's what it does. It looks very, very wiggy. I like her hair before better, but obviously it's America's Next Model. They can't just like give them the same hair they have, really. Oh. Okay, this is gorgeous though. Oh my God, she's, Candace is so pretty. And this hair looks so good on her from the color to the cut to the length. It really, really softens up her features, gives her a very feminine feel. I think she is thriving. But now she looks like a working model before she looks like kind of like an average girl that's like pretty. This is a good one. This is, that's a good one. Okay, more bangs. <gasps> oh my god, she's so pretty. Okay, this picture is literally the worst thing I've ever seen. Is that supposed to be a professional photo on the right? 
because that's quite terrifying. But I do, however, love the bangs. This, this. I actually really like these bangs. I don't usually like totally blunt bangs that are super heavy. Like I wish they were just like shredded a bit. If you guys can't tell, I like kind of like rocker style looks. Like I like just rolled out of bed sort of feel. Not too, too perfect. But I mean, it really works for her face. She looks, she looks gorgeous. Oh God. Oh, oh. There she's got the platinum blonde. She's got the American colored clip in. What? <laughs> No! The blonde, however, does look really good on her. I think it makes her look very modely. But <laughs> oh my god, this after photo with the red lipstick and the red and white and blue hair. What were y'all thinking? I don't know though, this one too, I think she looks really pretty before. I think it's just the photos that they're taking of them also are just really, really bad. This like Polaroid of her before, she looks so stunning. And then she's like overly made up on the right. But. I do think that the blonde, I don't know, kind of ages her. Am I the one who thinks that? Like, I don't know. But maybe it's just the photo. Maybe it's just the makeup too. And please, guys, let's just not do the red, white, and blue thing. They really don't look that good together. I mean, it's made to go on a flag, not in your head. So let's keep it like that way. Well, I'm really happy. I think it's really oh. catchy, fun, young, jazzy. Okay, I'm <laughs> sorry I keep stopping this. What is going on with her haircut, you guys? Are you spotting that? Can we do a zoom in on this? What are these, what is this shelving unit in her hair? Did she stop at Ikea? The shelving unit that's going on in this hair? Huh? This damn shelving unit. And this color. I do like her better platinum, but the pink was not executed correctly. And neither was his haircut. We're really just stricken out, man. Can I get a ball and a bat over here? There we go. Her because of a burn on her face. I wish it was that easy to get bitches out. <laughs> me! Can you not film me right now? Seriously. <laughs> this might be the worst season of makeovers I've ever seen. What the hell are these pigtails? She looks like a I don't even know. It's bad though. There's nothing good about this. The hair color is not bad, but again. More bangs. Who is giving everybody in this season bangs? Who is this? Is it Sally or is it some other person cutting their hair? Because literally four of them have got bangs. I don't know. It's a lot of bangs and I am not okay with it. Beige color. I'm not going darker. I've spent a year trying to get up from being dark. There's no way that I'm going dark. Ooh. Ooh I don't know if I agree with that. She looks so good dark. I'm trying to help you out here. If that's all we're trying to do. I oh, I think that. she should yeah. definitely go dark. It's just not. It's just not. Give her dark hair. Give her dark hair. Give her dark hair. No, I'm not going darker. <laughs> Me. Dark? Dark? Somebody's like, bro, you should go darker. Me? I'm not going darker. No. Mm -mm. Dark? No. Mm -mm. Not going to happen for me. Now you want to send me back? I'm not going back to brown. You're shaking your head. And I haven't even styled it. She looks amazing. <laughs> oh, they're doing it. Perfect. Oh, Freedom. God. It feels like a little boy haircut. Oh. Like Justin Beeps. Oh, Justin Beeps is right. Oh, God. You guys. Oh, no. I'm going to say it again. She looks better before. What is this episode? They aged her like 15 years with that cut and color. Oh, 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 I don't, ah, everything from the cut to the highlights to the, the deep brown between the highlights to the, oof. Over here in the US. <gasps> oh my God, she looks like she's so much older now. I'm horrified. Say, we don't have the weight, so she needs to pull it together. <laughs> oh. I think I'm scarred from that episode. Those were some of the worst America's Next Top Model makeovers I have ever seen. And I have seen a lot of episodes, uh, pretty much all of them. That was bad. I don't even know if I have one that I really love, like that stuck out to me. I think that only one I really think I got excited about was the girl with dark brown hair that got like a little bit of an ombre in the bottom and some bangs. That was just boring, but like also it looked pretty on her, I guess. I think the worst one was Oh my God, there's so many bad ones. The red, white, and blue one like really stands out as being like all ratchet as hell. Let me know what you guys think. Is it just me? Like, am I crazy? Were some of these cute? Were they just not at all like I thought? That's just my opinion on these makeovers. You guys might have liked some of them, but that wasn't it for me. Mm -mm, not even close. That, I might have nightmares about all those looks. So thank you.
Hope you guys enjoyed watching me do another America's Next Top Model makeover reaction video. I enjoyed watching it, and I did this for you guys today because I know this is a cult favorite, and I know all of you guys love watching these. So, hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram. Follow X Model on Instagram. X Model Hair. Brad Mondo NYC. That is my handle. It's great. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to never color your hair rainbow and live your extra life. And I will see you all next time. Peace.